power break it a little bit. When he hit, when he gets that rope tight, you no. let off your brake. Yeah, no power breaking. Okay, not enough. We didn't transfer any energy through there. We got to get it moving more. All right, but you did get a little bit of movement in that truck. Just a little bit. Though. We're not doing that. Just a little. Obviously, another option is to not use the Ranger here. Energy energy's transferred mass times velocity, so if that thing doesn't have a lot of weight to it, it can't transfer a lot of energy. That's true. The heavier the recovering vehicle, the more energy gets transferred through the rope. Ready, start. Need to go probably three times as fast. There we go. Okay, stop. So not enough of an assist when he feels that tension come on, get in that throttle. Unless you're digging, stay in it. If you get motion, stop at the, when you're high, when you're completely out of this obstacle. Good, so the, the mechanics of a, of a kinetic rope, using a two pound rock to move a five pound rock just a little bit. So Sean, this time if you get motion, you drive right along with it and stop when you're high, out of all that shit. All right, so here's where you gotta be aware that no matter what, these are gonna end in a straight line. So if he's got a turn with his pull, he's gonna be all right, but be aware of where the vehicles are gonna get put. So since that vehicle is a lot lighter, most likely it's gonna be one that's gonna be slingshotted a little bit in a straight line with this truck.